Why do we even bother, Rockstar? Why? You just... You try, but then you fall flat on your face with these event weeks, and this week is no exception. Article linked below in the description section. Promoting the free roam events and the free roam missions. Now, do you think for a moment that this is going to be something really cool, like uh, double money, double XP, double gold? Well, one of those three is right. Guess which one? That's right, double XP. Find adventures on the fringes of the frontier. Reap the benefits of bonuses on free roam missions and events. Earn prizes by ranking up and more. So, by doing free roam missions and free roam events, you earn double XP. Oh, Rockstar. You just can't give us more. Double cash, double gold. They haven't been doing double gold for a while now, so forget about that, I suppose. But at the very least, double cash. But now, we'll just give you some uh, double XP. I guess it'll be good if you're still working on Outlaw Pass 5, right? That's probably the only exception, or if you're a lower ranked character and you're just trying to rank up and you happen to like free roam missions, the stranger dangers are the free roam events. Okay, yay, double money. No, <laughs> no, double XP only. Double XP only, nothing else. 40% uh, bonus for cash and payouts and free roam missions. Okay, wait a minute. So free roam missions with the help of the posse. Okay, so. This is how you make uh, the money if you want to make additional money doing the Stranger Danger for your own missions. You have to have a posse. So it's very strange, Rockstar, how you're doing this. Why can't you just make it 40% extra cash for free roam missions anyways? Whether you're playing solo or with a friend or friends or fellow posse. Why does it have to force you to play in a posse? You know, there's players out there that don't have a posse. They might just be playing the game solo. So you're screwing them over. They're not able to earn that extra 40% cash. So I don't know what to tell you. I think that's ridiculous. And you're also going to get a 10% posse bonus. Okay. Lovely. So yeah, there is technically additional cash that you can earn by doing the Stranger Dangers free roam missions, but you have to be in a posse to get that 40% extra payout in cash. All right, let's move on, shall we? So, if you're working on ranking up your character this week, doesn't matter what your rank is, this is actually not too shabby. If you gain one rank this week in Red Dead Online, you'll receive a Blue Water Marsh treasure map. <laughs> Watch out for them gators, because they're everywhere in the Blue Water Marsh. If you gain three ranks this week, you're going to get the North Ridgewood treasure map, as well as a free ability card. And then, if you gain up to six, say six uh, minimum ranks in Red Dead Online this week, you will receive a Lake Isabella treasure map, two free ability cards, and $150. Okay, so now we're cooking. Now we're, we're giving the community a goal to focus on to earn between one to six ranks in the game this week. So this is what the headline should be, Rockstar. That way people are like, oh, okay, cool. I'll play the game. I'll try to get them six ranks. That way I can get all these goodies. Three treasure maps, some ability cards. 150 bucks in my pocket. Okay, I'll do it. Sounds good. See, this this should be at the top of the billboard. Anyways, let us move on. Free fast travel and free haircuts. So, free haircuts, free makeup, free dentistry. The barbers are going broke this week in Red Dead Online. Maybe they're getting that stimmy. Oh, wait, we're like a century or so too soon yeah but fast travel will also be free this week in the game so that's something people like is the ability to travel around the map without having to pay a single dollar limited time clothing this is what's available in the clothing stores and catalogs this week porter jacket along with the uh, carbo double bandolier that's available you also got the fernwood coat and uh, see the Taranka coat available in select colors of the Taranko coat. The Falwell hat, that's available for you. Along with the Griffith chaps available in select colors. And yeah, so those are all the limited clothing items available this week in Red Dead Online at the stores. Whether they're a re regular general store or one of the tailor uh, clothing stores. Now we also have discounts. 
30% off all shotguns, repeaters, and gun belts, 30% off all pants, skirts, and boots, and 40% off all stable stalls, horse tonics, horse food, plus the war and workhorse breeds are also 40% off this week in Red Dead Online. Finally, we get to the Prime Gaming benefits for everybody that have their Prime Gaming account linked to their Rockstar Social Club. You still have a chance to get that free Bounty Hunter license, which is only for ranks 1 through 20. In order to do uh, like rank 21 through 30, then you're going to have to buy the prestigious Bounty Hunter license. And you're also going to be able to get a free Trammed Amnest Bounty Wagon livery to go for your Bounty Wagon. Obviously, you have to buy the Bounty Wagon. And you have to reach rank 25 Bounty Hunter in order to get that particular livery for your bounty wagon unlocked. So you have no choice, basically, but to get the uh, prestigious bounty license. And anyone that connect their Prime Gaming account between now and May 10th, wow, May's almost here, that's crazy, will receive offers and rewards for a free varmint rifle, which is great for hunting animals and birds, well, small game like rabbits, squirrels, etc. 30% off the hunting wagon, as well as 50 free trader goods. So there you go, the uh, Prime Gaming benefits along with uh, regular discounts. You got some limited time clothing items in the store with them rare uh, pixels, along with free fast travel, free barber stuff going on. The uh, gain ranks rewards from uh, one rank up to six ranks. You will receive some goodies, rank one, three ranks, six ranks. Incentive to play for some of you that you know are interested. Then, of course, if you do the free roam missions, you can get 40% bonus cash payouts if you're doing it in a posse. Big if right there. But if you do it solo, you're only going to get double XP. That's all you get, double XP. Doing the Stranger Danger free roam mission solo, you're also going to earn uh, double XP doing uh, all the uh, free roam events for double XP. So, yeah, once again... If this would have been tweaked a little bit, putting certain things at the top billing and moving this, this part further down, maybe this event week would look a little bit more enticing. But I mean, it's overall, if you look at it, it's about on par with what we've gotten in previous event weeks over the past few weeks. There might be something that interests you. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe at the very least, uh, focusing on getting at least six ranks this week in Red Dead Online to get those treasure maps and that $150 plus some free ability cards for those of you still looking for some new ability cards in the game. Article, once again, linked below in the description section. Your thoughts, your views, your opinions regarding this event week going on in Red Dead Online. As always, welcome below in the comment section.